So I've had a few people ask me after the last uh, little video I did on how I shoot my video to talk a little bit about editing, um, what program I use, and so on and so forth. So let's get the first one out of the way, the programming. All the programming for editing video is, if you want to oversimplify it, it's somewhat the same. You import your clip, then you trim your clip, and then you put the clip into the timeline. And that's pretty much it. All the programs will do that. Now, where the difference lies is what you can do within, within that program. Can you do color correction? What kind of effects do you have? And so on and so forth. Um, a simple program like GoPro Studios is great, but it, I found it a little bit limiting. I found it limiting in that with a stronger program, you can actually have as many video layers as you want and as many audio layers as you want. And by that, I mean additional tracks. Like for instance, Let's say this is my narration track and now I'm going to fly in a video. So that video needs to go on top of this video track. And it fades in and fades out. And maybe I'll have some text. So there's another track and it just can go on and on and on. So you need the ability to add that. And it's the same thing with audio. You have your soundtrack. You have like in this video, the narration track. And then maybe when I bring a video in, I want you to hear uh, the water running or a bird. That's where I found things to be a little bit limiting with the simpler basic programming. The programming that I use is called Hit Films Express. Hit Film is a open source um, product that it's absolutely free. It costs nothing. Um, where they make their money is if you want to do all the explosions and animation and all that, you buy these little packages for 10 and $20 that allow you to do those effects. But the basic part of the program, the part that allows you to do the editing um, and the editing of audio and to fade everything in and out as you want to do it, gives you all the freedom in the world, is completely free. So that's what I'm using. I'm using HitFilm Express 3, and they just came out with HitFilm Express 4. So when I thought about doing this video, um, well, here's the rub. See, I'm, I'm not an authority. I don't, I'm not a professional filmmaker. I haven't been to school or anything like that. So I was a little apprehensive about even being tempted to do a subject like this. However, there is one thing that I can share, and what I can share is what I've learned. Um, it's been like taking a drink out of a fire hose. However, I've also learned some things I think that are more important than getting in and getting on the screen and showing you how to take a clip from here to there, because there's 101 tutorials, especially for hit films. It's just unbelievable. You can, I mean, they got tutorials for everything. So it's real easy just to watch that. I, I can't go there. I, I'm not that, I'm just not that in the know of all the ins and outs of the program. But what I have learned is something that I think is even more important than how you set it up on your timeline. And that's how you shoot video for the edit. It really gets kind of complicated. You don't just shoot a video for 15 minutes and then suddenly have a show. This video needs to be cut into pieces and that leads us to the next step. What's the most important thing we're gonna set out and make a video? And I've heard this over and over and over. And number one is a story. You need to tell a story. Whether that story is simply going to the grocery store and doing shopping and coming home, that's the story. So tell the story, tell it visually. And I think the second most important thing is that the story has to be told quickly. We're not making a, a full run feature film. Um, we're basically YouTubers sharing information, kind of a how to, what am I gonna see type of thing. So it needs to move quickly. 
and we'll get into that a little bit later. Okay, so that uh, concludes part one. I'll do it in another part or two uh, before we get finished up. And um, again, I highly suggest the Hip Film Express 3 or 4, whatever you decide there. And uh, to try to tell a story when we're doing these videos, it makes it a lot more fun. So next we'll talk about how we move through that uh, visually. So I hope you're enjoying it. Until next time.